Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist, this 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the thanksgiving of Andrea Malgapo, Nong and Che Garcia, Lito and Lori Zapanta and family, Ruel and Regina Villarin. For the birthday thanksgiving of Ivy Maliare, Bernadette Miranda, Leonardo Boji Concepcion, Cade Ezekiel Estacio, Kale Mati Estacio, Chayla Feliz Baltazar, Erica Daryl Ang, Lelel Manalastas Briones. For the special intentions of Ryan Tangilig and family, Ted and Jovi Monasterio, Amor and Carmelita Bautista and family, Arman and Mariet Nang, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Joy Espino and family, Phil Janet Castro and family, Shell Lingad, Bobby and Zorai Camelio and family, Eleanor Ventura, Rose Capati, Mark Homer Munoz, Leticia Wu and family, Maria Maida G. Luta, Patrick and Sarah Goquinco, Bernie Baby Henson and family. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Fe Romero Kailao, Archie Zapanta, Geraldine Zapanta, Nelson and Nicole Tamondong, Almario L. Claudio, Jennifer Manarang Canlas, Estrella Borja Fabian, Eller Vito, Carl Heinz Torres, Lei Manalo, Teresa Gopez, Gloria Pandilio, Dr. Agnes Salvador, Orlando Castro, Maylene Salamat Soberano, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Crisanta and Abelardo Roque, Rodolfo J. Aquino, Death Anniversary, Merlita T. Gueco, Margarita Pineda, Casamiro Meneses, Iding Meneses, Higinia and Herman David, Domingo and Epifania Santos, Maria Teresa Morales, Rodolfo Angeles, Dr. Alberto Chinquanco, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alfredo Capati, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Lucila and Angel Razon, Luderio Datu, Jose L. Vélez, Agustina Quiazon, Mercedita Pascual Ramos, Purificacion and Heriberto Gueco, Pablo and Norma Meneses, Luciana S. Olalia, Eli Tiger Lagman, Paulo Lagman, Attorney Adelaido Rivera, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, Alex Resurrection, and all poor souls in purgatory. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing the entrance hymn. Sa pag ng Panginoon, buong bayan ngayon natitipon, upang pagsaluhan ang kaligtasan, handog ng Diyos sa tanan. Sa panahon, tigang ang lupa, sa panahon ng alisagana, sa panahon ng digmaan at kaguluhan, sa panahon ng kapayapaan, sa pag ng Panginoon, kung bayan ngayon na 
In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, we first acknowledge that we are sinners and we ask for God's forgiveness. We bow our heads in silence. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned. sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels, angels and, saints, and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, pray to pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. To reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus. God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you, we give you thanks, thanks for your great, great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. 
It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seats forever at the right hand of God. Now, he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. with you and with your spirit the proclamation of the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you O lord jesus said to his disciples in those days after the tribulation the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from the sky and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the Son of Man coming into the in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect 
from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree when its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves you know that summer is near in the same way when you see these things happening know that he is near at the gates amen i say to you this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but of that day or hour no one knows neither the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Good evening. Good evening po. Si Father Edwin po. Uh, uh, ibigan at uh, kasama ni Father Dale sa Men of Light. Sa discussion sa Men of Light, ang binigang pansin ay yung lessons learned. Yan ang title ng discussion. Um, Parang yun din ang nais kong bigyang pansin in this Mass. And it was uh, from the verse that says, Learn a lesson from the fig tree. No? Yung fig tree ay uh, nakakita na po ako pero mahirap i-describe. No? But I know a story about three trees, no? Tatlong puno. There were three trees planted on the forest and they're trying to outdo each other about their dreams. Yung unang puno, sabi niya, I would like to be the tallest tree on the forest. Pinakamatayog. So, yun ang ginawa niya, no? And after some time, siya na talaga yung pinakamataas. Kita niya na yung lahat ng bubungan ng iba pang mga puno sa gubat. The other one said, I would like to be the biggest. Yung parang pinakamayabong. With so many branches and so many leaves. No? At uh, yun ang sinikap niya. And after some time, it came true. Siya yung naging biggest and widest tree in the forest. The other one, the last tree, is not saying anything about his dream. So, the other two told the tree, ikaw, anong pangarap mo? So, nakayuko lang yung pangatlong puno at sabi niya, sige na, sabihin mo, ano pangarap mo kami? It, ito na. Tapos sabi niya, I would like to be the tree who is deepest. No? Sabi niya, alang kwenta yung pangarap mo, ano mangyayari dyan? Hindi ka naman makikita. No? Kasi gusto niya malalim, palalim yung tubo niya. And so, after some time, there was a big storm, typhoon, super typhoon that came to the forest. Yung pinakamatayog, bumagsak. Yung pinakamayabong uh, ay nagkaluray-luray. No? Bali mga sanga, nawala yung mga dahon sa lakas ng bagyo. But yung pinakamalalim na puno na natili lang na nakatayo. Siguro yun ang mensahe, ang lesson sa atin ng tatlong punong ito. 
because we are on the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, we talk about the end times. At sa wakas ng panahon, yung pinakamatayog, temporary lang kasi yun eh. Yung mga naghahangad ng kataasan, ng tuktok, temporary yun eh. Ganon din yung yabong, yung lawak, temporary yun eh. Pero yung lalim, it is the one that remains and stays. At paano ba maging malalim? Our readings uh, teaches us. Sa first reading, sabi sa atin, But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. Yung mga matalino o sa sabi pa natin wais sila yung mananatili. Yung wais hindi yung parang wais na tuso na gagawa ka ng masama. Yung wais na sinasabi dito, it is described to be one that is for truth no? and for justice. So yung mga taong totoo at makatarungan, yung patas, they will be the ones who will stay. No? Yun yung mga tunay na wais. Yung hindi fake news, yung totoo lang. At yung mga patas. Sa second reading, may binanggit din na katangian ng mga taong mananatili sa end times. Every priest stands daily in his ministry offering frequently the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins, talking about Christ. No? At tayo man yan, nayahan na mag, uh, magsikap, magsakripisyo. Yung sakripisyo, galing yan sa dalawang sak- salita na sakra at saka fatshere. Sakra is holy, fatshere is to make, to make holy. That is what happens when we do sacrifices. Pinababanal natin ang ating sarili, pinababanal din natin ang pinag-aalaya natin ng sakripisyo. And this sacrifice should be taught to our children. Hindi dapat ini-spoon feed yung sinusubo mo lahat sa anak mo. Dapat matuto yung sakri- ng pagsakripisyo yung anak mo. Hindi mo binibigay lahat. Kasi tulad nung matayag na puno, mabubuwal lang yan. Bakit? Eh, walang ugat. Walang, ang tawag sa Tagalog, tulatod, tulatod o backbone. Napakahina ng personalidad because walang alam. Hindi mo tinuruan. So, the one who knows sacrifice will stay also in the end times. At ano ba yung end times? The end times is not about destruction. The end times is about restoration and salvation. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kami ni Father Deo po ay na-assign sa seminary at pagka-exam week, yung bang mag exam yung mga seminarista, Mahalata mo yung mga nag-aral na seminarista. Kasi okay lang sila, patag lang. Pero yung mga nagbulakbol, yung hindi nag-aral, kakabaka ba yun? Kakabaka ba? Bakit? Sa pagkat yung examination, yun, dun nakikita. Ikaw ba'y naging vigilant, naghanda ka ba? O hindi ka handa? Kaya, the ones who are prepared, who have prepared for the exam, they know that is the time of their vindication. 
mapapatunayan ako'y nag-aaral. Yung hindi nag-aaral, walang mapapatunayan. No? So, yung bulakbol, that is the time of his destruction. Katapusan ko na. Sabi niya, hindi ako nag-aaral. Pero yung nag-aaral, okay lang sa kanya. May papakita ko na, may lalabas ko na yung pinag-aaralan ko. Ganun yung end times. At sabi sa atin, we don't know the time or the hour. Kahit na mga anghel, kahit yung anak ng tao, hindi alam. Ang alam lang natin, dapat tayo ay handa lagi. At paano maghanda? Nabanggit ko na, dapat wais, totoo, at patas, dapat may sakripisyo. Kilala niyo ba si Alessandra De Rossi? Si Alex? Ito kasing panahon ng pandemya, sabi nga, we could learn a lesson in this pandemic times. At ito ang sinabi niya. Grabe itong pandemic. Lumabas nga talaga lahat ng tunay na kulay ng mga tao. Sa, t- sa tweet niya ito, tweet. <clears throat> yung mabuting tao, may ibubuti pa pala. Pero yung gahaman at walang malasakit, during this time, tinodo na niya. Nakakalungkot na yung Senate investigation sinabi sa atin na maraming mga tao na nagkakasakit at nagkakamatay na yung mga Pilipino ang hinahanap pa paano ba natin pagkakakitaan itong pandemya? Paano tayo kikita? Paano tayo magkakapera? Ito yung sinasabi niya. Yung mga gahaman at walang malasakit, tinodo yung kanilang kasamaan. And the gospel is very clear that there will be a time of reckoning. Sabi nga, magkikita-kita lahat tayo sa finals. <laughs> Maaring lamang kayo ngayon o nakalamang kayo o nanlamang kayo ngayon. Pero darating ang panahon, magiging patas ang lahat. Ang sabi sa atin ni Jesus, heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will not pass away. Hindi magkakabula ang aking mga salita. Kaya sa finals, tulad sa exam, ano nga kaya yun? Destruction ba para sa'yo? Katapusan mo na? O kaganapan mo? Is it a time of destruction or a time of restoration? A time of fulfillment? Looking forward to Advent, itong gospel na ito, dinugtungan ni Lucas, ang sabi niya, When this time comes, stand erect. Tumayo ka ng matuwid. Taas noo sa lubungin mo ang iyong manliligtas. Stand erect no? with your chin up and welcome your salvation. So ulitin ko, the end times is not destruction. For the wise, the just, and the sacrificing, and the vigilant, it is the time of restoration and salvation. Amen? We stand and we profess stand. our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God, our Father, that He may guide our hearts towards the fulfillment of His kingdom on earth. Full of hope, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise authority in the Church, may they be faithful in their service for the people of God, we pray. For all public servants, may they become responsible stewards of all that God has entrusted to them and accountable government officials to the people they have promised to serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may you grant us the healing we need and the grace to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith that we may realize that everything is God's gift to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they be welcomed by all the saints and angels in heaven, where Lazarus is poor no longer, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. God our Father, listen to the prayer of your faithful people who look forward in hope for the fullness of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
pray, brethren, that this, your sacrifice and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may offer that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering, canceled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice filled with wine and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our patron, and his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. We now pray in confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace to you, peace to everybody. Oh, 
Paalis na ang mga kasalanan ng sanglimutan. Aawang ka, Parero na ang Diyos na nag-aalis na ang mga This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of the sacred meal. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy Lord. that you should enter Lord. under my roof, but, but only say Lord. the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. The body of Christ. Of spiritual communion Lord Jesus you are the bread of life whoever eats this bread will live forever I love you and desire to receive you in Holy Communion at this moment I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist come then spiritually and dwell in my heart I embrace you and unite myself totally to you may I never be separated from you amen Imperata. God our Father, you are slow to anger and rich in compassion. We are in great need, and we cry to you now as a people, seeking not only your protection against the COVID-19 virus, but also your restoration from it. 
we beg you to look upon us with mercy, O God, and with your unfailing love, lay your hand upon the sick, comfort the anxious, raise up those who are bowed down, and restore all of us to wholeness. As we thank you for the vaccines developed, we ask your spirit to anoint and animate those administering the vaccination program, that they may not grow weary working for the good of all, and continue to act with earnestness and zeal to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for doctors, nurses, and health workers that you may clothe them with your own armor of protection from the disease and breathe renewed strength and commitment upon them who are weary in body and spirit. We pray for those infected that the proper treatment may be administered to them and that they may experience your healing touch in a powerful way. We specially entrust to your love and mercy the souls of those who succumb to the disease. Let them rest with you in eternity, with your perpetual light shining upon them. Lord, as we humble ourselves in prayer and seek your face, we beg you to hear us from heaven and pardon our sins and heal our land. Lead us all to true conversion and change us for the better, that from this time forth we may live our lives according to your holy will. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, please all stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery humbly, imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will celebrate the wonder of your name until heard that to speak is the song of forgiveness and the song of and of peace.